been told to have more character or be the character. I mean, ugh, that direction is just so... It's confusing, it's vague, and all it does is put an actor right in their head, right? I mean, how do you do that? How do you be the character? I don't know, and I have a master's degree in acting, and I'm an acting coach. It's crazy. But if you're living and working in Hollywood, you're gonna hear be the character all the time. So what are you gonna do? So in the nine questions of intentional acting, we have questions one, two, and three, all right? And that's the basis of intentional acting. And so if you get the direction, be the character, start with question number one. What is the scene about? Basically, what are the given circumstances of the scene? Then go to question number two. How do I relate to those given circumstances? Have I ever experienced or lived that? What's that like? What's my human experience of that? And then three, how, what, is, what is the experience of that scene? So meaning what is the character dealing with? What is I as the character? What am I dealing with? Because when we watch a character deal with certain circumstances, that's when their character comes out and they are, and the actor is being the character. Does that make sense? So let me, let me give you a little example. In class, I gave the students a cold reading and it, it was kind of this robot, alien, part human character. And they all got up, they performed it, we watched the tape back, and frankly, their performances weren't that interesting. Sorry, guys, it, we, we, don't, we discussed this, <laughs> but it really wasn't. And why wasn't it interesting is because they weren't being the character. We didn't, they just played kind of the stereotypical robot and they played their ideas of the robot. So let's think about what are your favorite robots. I don't know about you, but my favorite are C-3PO and R2-D2. And what is it we love about those two characters? Their character, right? Because we see them in given circumstances, we relate to them and they have kind of human qualities as they deal with, and they, in the experience of this, they're dealing with this situation, right? So how they deal with this circumstances brings out their character. And this doesn't apply just to robots or aliens. It also applies to if you're the nerd or the jock or if you're playing um, the bully or the one being bullied or just the average kind of Joe or the drama queen, right? Any of these, just any character, you've got to, how do I relate to it? How do, what is, what am I dealing with? And when you get in there and you deal, now your character is gonna come out. So if you wanna know more about the nine questions of intentional acting so you can be really clear on questions one, two, and three, then just click on the link below, the ninequestions.com, and give us some feedback. We'd love to know how this stuff is working for you, and go have an awesome audition.